Hey, this is Chris Harris with Piedmont Farm Systems out of Statesville, North Carolina. Today we're going to talk about some of the cool cell settings in a Chortronics 2 controller. Okay, to begin on your Chortime Chortronics 2 controller, click the Setup Control button, which should be button number 14 and we'll get started. Next, push the white button under the output ventilation tab. After you do that, you can scroll down to see your cool pad settings. We'll start from here. Water pre-fill time. This is the time that it takes for water to start coming out of the top distribution pipe on your cool cell. This is the pipe that runs across top of the pads and has the small holes for water to come out of. These are the steps to get your water pre-filled time. Turn on your cool cell pump and immediately start a stopwatch. When the water reaches the end of the top pipe, on the furthest end, stop your stopwatch. This is the time that you need to put in this section. Each one will vary on system, sump size, sump pump size, and system brand. Water increase decrease time. As temperature goes up and down, this lets your cool cell make changes based on the temperature that the controller is reading. It will ramp up and down accordingly depending on how many seconds you put in this. Time to wet dry pad. Measure the seconds from the time your cool cell pump turns on until the water starts dripping out of the bottom of the pad on the pad furthest away from your sump pump. The amount of time it takes is what you need to put into this setting. This will vary depending on the length of your system. Actual water on time. The actual water on time is for information purposes only. This shows the values which makes it possible to see graphs of the system's variations, but only if you have C-Central software. Max water on allowed. If you don't want your cool cells to run continuously, then the max water on allowed needs to be set so that it is less than the repetition rate time. This is where a lot of people run into issues with their cool cell running continuously. This is something to definitely look out for. Repetition rate. The repetition rate is basically the time that it takes for your cool cells to run a complete cycle. Most people set this at a five minute timer. With a five minute timer, everything that you should already have above set should be fine to work in that five minute window. Check temp every. What this does is it ties your repetition rate along with your repetition time. With what we have here, the two repetition rates with the five minutes, what it basically does is tells your controller to check the temperature every 10 minutes. With that temperature check, your controller is either gonna make your cool cell work extra aggressive or less aggressive. And then that also ties in your water increase decrease time above. Depending on the temperature, your system will either speed up or slow down accordingly. Extra aggressive if. This allows your cool cell to either ramp up or ramp down depending on the temperature in the cool cell temperature range. As you'll see here, the increase and decrease goes off of your increase and decrease time above. Flush cool pad at. This feature will allow you to flush your cool pads for an allotted time at a certain time. 
So, for instance, you could set at 7 o'clock in the morning that you wanted your cool pad to flush for, say, 5 minutes or so. Cool pad disabled above RH. With this and a relative humidity sensor, you can set your cool pads to where they will automatically disable above a specific relative humidity set point. Allow cool pad from. With this feature, you can make it to where your cool pad will run between a certain time of day. So therefore, you could set it to where it will turn off at night or turn off earlier or turn on earlier. Do not allow cool pad to go below. This is where you would put in a temperature at which once it reaches that temperature, your cool cell would then be disabled. For instance, if you put 40 degrees in there and then it reached 39 degrees, your cool pad would automatically cut off. We hope that this little video has helped. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and find and like us on Facebook. You can also visit our website at www.piedmontfarmsystems.com. We are conveniently located in Statesville, North Carolina, right off of Interstate 77. Y'all take care.